Yeah, definitely the IRL stream monster. Yeah. <laughs> gotta love Sid, but you also gotta love T and E Sam. Let's yeah, see how they can do. Game one. Yeah, man, we got Town and City coming out right now. And this is definitely gonna be an interesting matchup. I mean, Pikachu's got Oh Whoa. Going Please right get back stage. to that. Okay. <laughs> Okay. He knocked him away from his trampoline too, um, and I saw him try to drop down and edge guard him away from it. That was very smart by Sam. Yeah, Sam was also trying to hit the trampoline because you can actually hit the trampoline. That'll actually eat up its uses. Yeah, take it away from him so he absolutely won't be able to recover. He'll just go into free fall. Rest in peace. Okay, and getting an S smash. Ooh, that was almost an early kill, but going oh off. Oh my goodness. So far off stage, that's the ESAM I know. Yeah, really challenged that man out there and gonna take a stock real quick in less than 30 seconds, man. T so gonna have to carefully get his way self back onto the stage. Okay, good no good good thing to know. You know, three thunder jolts is what it takes to get rid of a hydrant. <laughs> okay, got the stun himself. A little bit of electricity coming out, but it's in E Sam's hand. So much of a stun right there, and not able to confirm it to anything and lose your stock right there with the forward smash. Oh, a pivot a forward smash at that. You, you know, he uh, made sure that the spacing was correct, and that ghost had all the space it needed. Oh yeah. Finally, the two of them working together. Okay, but this aerial combo right now. Going to catch him once again off the right side. T having so much trouble just getting back to the stage right now. Having a lot of trouble and losing that stock so early. He was at a, like a mid percent. Yeah, uh, rest in peace my man. He's not looking so good right now in this matchup. Not sure if this is one that he's too familiar with. Well, Fire Hydrant going to come out. And now it should, should be acting like a wall buff. East Ham really putting that wall in his favor. Ooh, okay, gonna drop the hydrant on top of him, but Esam going right through it and just gonna connect with the aerial once again. These tilts, man, coming in. And this forward air is coming Ooh. in as well. We're gonna see a platform extension. He is resetting on that platform, but recovering back to center stage with the side B. Yeah, you saw T go real high all the way to the middle immediately. He's not gonna l challenge Esam on the left or right side anymore. Yeah, that was actually really smart because Ooh. in that like high position, it made it really difficult which way uh, the pellet was moving. Yeah, very true. And man, going right over top of that hydrant. Most people have so much trouble getting around that uh, stage hazard that T puts out, but not Pikachu. He's going to get launched to the right, though. <laughs> right, with a very similar setup that uh, Esam lost his first talk to. And you know, now, of course, he's yeah. in the Galaga, but the Nair trade going in Esam's favor. Okay, he saw his trampoline was still there, ready to cover himself. Uh, but this throw combo could be something crazy right now. Good on T to get out of the way and stall himself with the hydrants as well. That's right, uh, but Thunder uh -oh, Jolt uh -oh. does connect. He should be able to make it back, but back air doesn't connect. Oh, he oh. didn't get the chance. I thought yeah. he was going to launch off the side of the stage. Yeah, it was really hard to tell which way uh, Esam was spinning. <laughs> yeah, and you see T close his eyes for a second there, take a deep breath. He's like, okay, okay, I see you, Pikachu. Do you happen <laughs> to know who the best uh, Pikachu in Japan is? I don't. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm trying to think if, if he has much experience in this matchup because I'm just, like, imagining all of their, like, results lists that they post a lot of the time, and I don't remember seeing a Pikachu. Yeah, this might be a matchup that may be a little bit more unfamiliar to T because it does look like he's having a little bit of trouble, especially with the way he's positioning the Hydrant, and yeah. Esam's just taking full advantage of it. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, he's kind of working this man all over the place and mainly just catching those recoveries, and we saw at the end T started mixing it up. It was a little too late, but now he has that knowledge for game two. Just got to keep that in mind uh, as he continues this set. Now, I'm not, I don't know if I agree with this counter pick. We saw how far, like, Esam was willing to go off stage, and just the positioning of the platforms here could right. help him do that. Yeah, that is very true. But maybe uh, T got some extensions he could do as well. Yeah, he may be uh, just taking a page out of Esam's book. We see a forward air connecting. And, oh, trying Woo! to get the second forward air. And now Quick Attack actually interrupting the pellets. Thunder is being oh called. Oh, my goodness. And he hit that trampoline, too. Scary stuff, but good on T to just go back to the stage and not challenge him at all out there. Yeah. You can see that respect coming through. Okay, we see the bell coming out. Yeah, it's on the ground because uh, Pikachu definitely in prime position to die if he gets hit by that stun into an F smash. Mm -hmm. Using the Nair to get back to the stage, putting, actually clipping Esam. Oh, great Nair out of shield right there. Gonna set up, back up a little bit, throw that bell once again. Oh, stunned, boy. He forgot that thing bounces. He cannot right. jump over it like that. I mean, that's something that's kind of new to, to Smash Ultimate. Uh, and it is a little difficult because before it used to be like expended its use and then now it's it's free to pick up. You know, it's safe. Right. Now here, uh, bouncing counts. <laughs> Ooh, going once again so low, but you see T oh. smart on him. Going to be able to avoid that situation and go real deep, get the pellet back to the stage to trampoline. Oh, Esam mashing the thunder, trying to call call it down to interrupt the down air from T. Well, Ooh. we see a few up airs landing for T and even a oh. down smash. He used the hydrant to be up a little bit higher to hit him in the air with a down smash. That was hilarious. Okay, oh. but picking up the bell, this time putting it in Esam's favor and making sure it's not a threat. You're going to see a back throw from T. All right, yeah. Oh, my belt. Oh, my gosh, and the trajectory on that. Almost catching him. It doesn't matter. I got the forward smash right here. Okay, well, T really showing that this stage is definitely his to work with. Oh, 
And using Galaga to cover himself off the stage like that, he definitely learned from game one. It even took Isam's second jump, too, so Isam had to retreat back to the stage. Too clean. Okay, dash attack connecting for Isam. Now we see this offstage play coming out again. Oh, what's the punish going to be? F smash, <laughs> not fast enough. Yeah, and that thing reaching so far, able to catch Isam in a grab, and all oh, going to whiff the dash attack, almost get up smash killed, but he's okay. Oh, pairing both uh, both hits of the fire hydrant. Right, and again, avoiding Isam out there. I think he just definitely, okay, spot dodge and force match, going to take it. But yeah, I think he just wasn't uh, respecting Isam as much while he was going for those edge guards, but now he's 100% doing that and it's helping him a lot. Maybe he was just expect, uh, respecting him a little bit too much, and now we see because we see him being way more aggressive. Yeah, absolutely. In, in Esam's face. Yeah, he's just playing it smart off stage, and that's all he needs because on stage he had the game plan. Oh, oh but there's the boy. bell. Not gonna be able to put uh, a kill setup in in T's favor. Yeah, and he knew that that stun was gonna wear off really quickly, so he tried to just get whatever he could, got it, and that's all right. Just get the damage where you can. But the bell is back in hand, and now there's the jab, jab reset, F smash from Esam. And ooh, using the bell to cover his recovery. And Very he caught smart. it so he could throw it a second time. So good. Does he still have it? No, okay, the bell's not. Nah, yeah. All right, so he's going to drop the Hydrant down, come down with the down air, holding on to the stage control, and he tried to throw the apple into the water so it could bounce into Esam so trickily. Okay, dash attack. And you see, we've seen uh, Esam actually use dash attack to kill so many times. You know he's looking for it here, but ooh, ooh. using there to cover ledge. Yeah, now T's the one doing tricky plays off the stage to try to get these edge guards. Mm -hmm. Oh, double, double parry, parry double back throw. Back throw. Whoa. Okay, my man is living just barely. Going to slowly make his way back to the stage, but gets stepped on, boy. Yo, he gave him the boots. <laughs> He's like, check these out real quick. <laughs> All right, he, he Sam had to go. He Sam had to go. So game three, yeah, the download is complete. It only took him one game to figure that out. And that game was so fast, too. So it's surprising that he was able to get as much data as he was. But that's all he needed is T. Yes, it is T indeed. Just showing just, like, how high of a level player he is. But like you said, only needing a couple minutes versus Literally a couple Sam. minutes. And, you know, he had a complete game plan going into game two. But now that we're on Esam's counter pick, is he still going to have that same game plan? I mean, like, oh, that's all he really needed to do was to avoid those offstage setups. And he's doing that perfectly. If he can keep that up, it looks like on stage he's got it going on. Okay, well, we, all, we did see uh, Esam previously win against T on this stage. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess there's no uh, DSR, so he's going to be able to go back to his, the stage that he won on. Oh, oh, pushing a T a little bit too far. The Hydrant maybe working against him just a little bit there. Oh, I like the stall that he did on the ledge right there to make sure that he didn't get hit by the uh, Thunder. Going to use that stand to be all right. And a great quick combo starting up right now. 75% on Esam. Okay, recovering back to the ledge. Now using a Nair to just beat out the Esam. Ooh, okay. I thought he got him with that stun right there, but now he's trapped off the left side. What's he going to do? No roll. T had the, uh, thought he had the read, but not quite. Okay, just getting rid of that Fire Hydrant now. Getting a cross-up back air onto Esam. The bell is at the ledge, even using a Zare. <laughs> He's going to drop that thing again. Oh, and the Hydrant's out as well. Esam going to be able to use it a little bit to help him. Oh, the pineapple oh snipe. God. Oh, my God. He threw that thing right in his face and then tried to go up real high for it. But a dash attack, a little bit risky. Going to get back thrown off. Yeah, and that dash attack was actually really good bait when it comes from T because he made it so that the Fire Hydrant was really weak. So the next hit would, in fact, take it out. Right. Which baited Esam in for that dash attack. And I love how he had the Hydrant at the ledge and then went for that smash attack because he knew the Hydrant would extend his hitbox. So even if he didn't time it right, it probably would connect. Oh, so smart. T, right. looking like a genius. Oh, yeah. Always, man. And oh, Another the bait? bait? The bait. <laughs> yes, man. And then going to put the Hydrant out in Esam's face. Catch him again with it. Cherry oh, on the ledge. Oh, the cherry? Oh, he my gave man. him the cherries? <laughs> Tried to catch him with that down there once more. But now it's Esam's turn to finally get this edge guard opportunity. Yeah, going for the S smash at the ledge. And now what? We see a couple of empty hops at Esam trying to get that earthquake hit from the down air. And you just see T setting up that Hydrant in a way that, uh, once again, forces their opponent to respect the stage control. Mm -hmm. We've seen that from every single Japanese player so far, <laughs> man. They got these items on lock. Yeah, they definitely know all about the traps and how to uh, utilize them. Wow, the Fire Hydrant coming in clutch, pushing Esam <laughs> into the air, making sure he can't. Uh, has a little bit more difficulty getting back to the ground, but Nair out of shield, such a good tool for Pac-Man. Right, and you're 100% you're correct on all of that. Apple coming through as well, and the Hydrant almost ricocheting into Esam. He's coming real low, but good on him to go to the other side of the stage. That's right, but now T's going to have a few seconds to set up his trap. Again, baiting Esam in with the Fire Hydrant and Ooh. a back air. Big read, boy. You're going to get back aired out of here off the right side, and T's still sitting on his first stock. I know, looking really good, just like in game two. We see up throw. Oh, but the Thunder <laughs> does interrupt the up tilt extension. Okay, I do like that aerial into the down smash, but T should be able to avoid this. Yeah, oh. he has learned, man. Yeah, 
Do not hold forward. Just go as far back as you can. Exactly. Make sure that Esam has no opportunity Ooh. to touch you. And the ricochet right there with a the Hydra and then a cherry combo starting up. Platform. He Ooh. stalled so long for that up air to make sure it connect. And there's <laughs> a tipper up air at that. And then a tipper forward smash. The ghost man. Oh, he's in his face. <laughs> he just ran at him. Oh, 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 excuse me. What was that? <laughs> there's nothing to say. Like, oh. The death dancing in his face. Esam too scared to drop shield. And then the moment he did, T with the hardest of reads gave him the ghost. It wasn't even like in melee, you know, where you see them like pivot around each other and then go for an up smash. Like, no, he just stood there, backed away, forward, back away. What am I do? It was literally in his face. <laughs> The god. Yo, maybe, maybe low tier god was right. Maybe <sighs> Death Dancing is a taunt. Tisama, Tisama, I still do Tisama. Oh my god, that was so good. That was some next level mix ups <laughs> if I've ever seen one. I can't believe that was the mix up that he put. He was just in. sitting there. He's like, I, 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 what do you do after that? You, he should have bowed down to that man. You, you nod your head. You give him the FTC nod and like... Yeah. <laughs> you gotta give him more than that. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> you gotta shake his hand. <laughs> give him your wallet, your girlfriend, like everything. Oh, like just, the girlfriend. Just let it go. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Woo. Woo -hoo -hoo. Okay. <laughs> Zachary versus YB. We're getting Japan over here. Uh, going towards the top, of course. They're always uh, making it way too far, man. Oh, they're pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it's so great. I love seeing them being able to make it out here. So glad that they were funded uh, in the compendium as much as they were, and 2GG helping them get out here, of course. I mean, I, I would, I'll be honest. There, there were some uh, some days that we were like, are they going to make it? Because mm -hmm. that bar isn't filling up as <laughs> yeah, like, we thought uh, it would be. Yeah, you know, because we all love